Morning YouTube, it's Trevor here, something or nothing. Back up on Dartmoor, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. I'm going up to high relays. You may have saw my video last week where I was sort of in that dilemma, should I, shouldn't I, am I flouting privileges I have being up on the moor. And then two or three days later, Boris Johnson was lifted restrictions, allowing us unlimited exercise outside. And I thought, I'll do it this week. I'm still not going to travel. I'm still going to keep my walks local. But that's just me. Anyway, I'm here. I'm up under Rautor. I did cheat a little bit. I drove up this morning. So I thought if I drove up, then I can uh, cut off sort of four or five miles. So it should be lovely. Don't forget, if you'd like to send in any of your photos, I'll stick to them on the end of this video. It's been really great seeing uh, all the different areas and the different sites. Some beautiful photos from your own local walks. So yeah, keep sending them in and I'll post the email address at the end. So stay tuned for that. So we're skirting around the backside of, oh, uh, the backside of Rautor. West Mill Tour in front of us here. We're going to go around that as well and then come up to the S Tour, then over to High Willays, and then perhaps we go and duck back down and have a look at Dinger Tour. Opening up now, as you can see, East Mill Tour looks like a bit of a cone before when we looked at it but it's opening up here now we might pop up and have a look at East Mill on the way back this afternoon as well another track we're going to take is goes right in under that but you never know might be worth popping up it mightn't it yes tour is coming into view now we can sort of see the path leading up that way we'll be taking that in a minute but it definitely doesn't look as steep a climb from this side as to the side that I wanted to go up in between West Mill I'd about to go down in the valley and up but this way up here we're up on the high moors there's quite a sort of a, a level track going up obviously it's not but we haven't got to dip down by the looks of it and even West Mill tour doesn't look as mighty from up here Alright, so I'm up at Yes Tour now. So yeah, made it up to the high tours and the views, absolutely stunning. Been a bit windier today, but hasn't it been worth it? I think so. Okay. So we're heading off a of yes tour over to High Willays. I said about the family up there, they seem to be being led by the young lad and uh, he must have been 10, 11, but he knew all his tours, he was looking around, correcting his dad, 
so it's really great to see young people embracing the moor and uh, making the most of it. And here we are. Hi, Wallays! Yeah, so what's this third time I've been here? Ah, oh, it's lovely. It's great to be up. Taking in the views of Zenon. Black tour. Gelstone tour. Corn Ridge and Bramscombe Loaf. There's the loaf. Great Links tour. Here we are, Hi Willies. I'm gonna go over there in a minute, have a look at Forgeland Ledge. That's it, that observation post over there. And then we make our way down there to Dingator. It doesn't look too bad a, a trek, to be honest. If we come back, there's a path. It seems to lead all the way down there. views out there. Now that is bleak isn't it? Beautiful though. This little one down here, this nipple on the top of the hill, that is uh, Lint's Tor. Nathan and I have been there when we've done Cranmere Pool. So Cranmere Pool's over here somewhere. So does that put that there as Fir Tor I think? That tour in the back. So that is a bleak area. Burial cairn here. Look at this. That is something else, isn't it? Look at it. Right, here we go. So we're heading over to Dinger Tour now. We're right in the middle of the bleak moor now. Feels like we're out in the middle of nowhere. There was quite a lot of people milling around up by Yes Tor and West Mill Tor and Rau Tor. There's no one over here. It's all right walking through here at the moment, but I can imagine in the wet seasons this is a bloody nightmare. It seems quite boggy. And you see sort of evidence, look, cottontails. If you see them, especially when it's wet, yeah, avoid that land because that's when it gets proper boggy. See up here on the ledge that little uh, hut and then there's a little sort of a nipple beside it. Do you like all these nipples? I keep pointing out. That's Kitty Tour and uh, me and Nathan found that on our third time out and uh, it was not worth the trek across Corn Ridge. It's a Dinger Tour. We're here. The last time we came here we came from 
Lintz Tor over there and coming down the side of Lintz Tor, yeah, I almost bloody broke my ankle. <laughs> So it's not the most attractive tour, not the biggest, but it's a tour, I got to it. Looking over Lint's tour there, we came down and up, you know, trying that straight line as we always used to, but it looks like you could probably get over there and along the ledge over to Lint's tour there. Sort of walk around the top. So we could always do that. Should we do that and then head back? quite featureless out this side but it's better walking than that trench yeah if we take in Lintz tour then I won't bother taking in East Mill and then I'll try and tie that in with another walk another time one thing that has just dawned on me walking across here is uh, adders <laughs> being out here on my own so I'm stomping the ground making enough noise to sort of <laughs> scare any off and I don't know if it was just the grass whistling in the wind a minute ago but I'm sure I heard something that made me jump <laughs> Okay, so I left Dingator. I left there at seven minutes past, and it's 25 minutes now past. So, best part of 20 minutes to walk around. It's nothing really, is it? And the last time we was here, we went down in that valley and up there, and it was a bloody nightmare. We always took the straight lines, but now, not so much. I've learnt my lessons. Of the moor. I never thought today that I'd uh, come this deep in when I left this morning. So, uh, yeah, it's been good. It's lovely to get back out for a decent walk. Well, there you go, refilled. Beautiful. Had a bite to eat. I was saying I'll probably not see anyone over here and I see a couple come up over the hill <laughs> and they're cracking on over there to a uh, great knee set. No, seemed a nice couple. Glad to be back out on the moors. I should have warned them to stomp for adders, shouldn't I? in a way leaving now there's a few people out and about to be honest I can see dotting everywhere chat running across here two people up over the ridge over there making our way now back to Dinger it yeah, has been a cracking walk I've done over seven miles already I've enjoyed it now I'd also like to take this chance. A few weeks ago, I started to talk about planning my south to north route. And I said the reason I was starting at the south was because it was boring. Can I apologize? I'd like to say my words were misconstrued, but 
I did actually say it was boring. I didn't mean it was boring. What I've seen of them all, there's not been so much sort of tours to pinpoint. But that being said, my my wording wasn't the best. And uh, yeah, Dartmoor's not boring. North or south. I mean, this is bleak, but it's not boring, is it? And the south, I'm sure, is the same. So I do sincerely apologise from the bottom of my heart to anyone who loves the South Moor and lives on the, near the South Moor and was put out by my radical comments. So there you go, it's out there now. Sorry about that. Here we come, back to Dinger Tour. Well, I was uh, looking out over here and it looks like the, uh, the couple I saw have made it to their destination up on the brow of that hill. So well done. Well, there you go, there's been another fantastic hike. Another great day out on the moors. So thank you all for joining me. Just stay tuned to the end and we'll share up some more of your photos that you've sent in. It's great to see your walks and now you can get out a bit further. So yeah, just share where you're going. So yeah, keep sending your pics in. And uh, we'll see you all soon. Stay safe, peace.